Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I'm going to show you how to unroot your MyTouch or get it back to 1.5 if you have it at 1.6 in order to root your MyTouch. So what you're going to do is you have the phone, it's connected, yeah, we'll cancel that. Um, we're going to connect the USB and mount that and you're going to need to download a file called SAPPIMG I actually have it on my desktop right there um, here this my touch is now open here and you can do this on Windows or PC what you're going to do is keep outside of a folder you just want to drag it right onto the memory card so what you're going to do is drag that file on here that's it let it copy it's about 100 megs this actually says 100.7 megabytes uh, let that copy onto the my touch and once that's done we're going to turn this off and reboot it and I'll show you how to do that and it will actually reset it now you would want to do this if you have a rooted my touch and you want to return it to factory settings for warranty um, if you just want to go back to the original ROMs uh, or or update to 1.6 um, this is how you would do that uh, to update manually to 1.6 from uh, T-Mobile or if you had a problem this file actually is kind of right from T-Mobile so what we'll do is I already have a new email but what I'll do is now the files on there let's disconnect that eject that and um, turn the phone off so we're going to power off yep power off there okay so what we're going to do is when we boot this up we're going to hold down the volume button and hold power at the same time so I'm doing that. Okay, H boot. See that? It's going to take a moment here. There we go. It says SD checking, loading, loading, no image. Then it found it. Do you want to start update? Hit action for yes. Action is straight down on the ball there. It's reading the image. And the update's in progress. Pretty simple, but it does take a moment, so we'll we'll wait and show you. So you can see the progress bar in the upper right here, and this is going to build as it completes. So right now it's reading the image, and then once it's done reading the image, it will continue and flash the image that's on the My Touch. And what we're doing is we're bringing it back to Cupcake, or 1.5. <clears throat> and then from there we'll show you how to actually root the My Touch. So you can put your own custom ROMs on it. Uh, the Hero ROM, we'll show you that. Pretty simple. I have all the files already downloaded here, um, but I'll provide links and show you. And there's different files, but there's a couple things you need to look out for. Uh, fairly simple things. So you can see this does take 60 seconds to, to 2 minutes, something like that. It's a reading, like I said and I do have it charging it's almost 50 percent charge want to make sure it's charged before you do this you can see that says reading image right there I'll try and hold this as still as I can for you and I apologize I do have a spot on the camera here uh, I'm in the process of getting a new camera due to that but didn't want to wait to film this it's actually a spot in the lens it's a nick in the lens uh, I don't even know where it came from as it's always covered but it's definitely there so reading image it's still reading the image almost done and you can see there's a little blue light here too as it's doing this this update and it's checking signature you can see that it's going to take a moment and we're at the four minute mark uh, for doing this process it should take you about I don't know a couple minutes the, the files about 100 megs of download and then you've got to dump this on here reboot and, and do this so not a huge deal to do just take some time and there we go so finally it started you know you, you, if you've ever done any flashing of uh, devices it does get a little bit you feel a little panicked at times just because if it screws up your device is screwed up but you can see it's updating the radio and it's going to go to the bootloader, bootloader, splash, recovery, boot, system, and user data. Um, I believe the radio kind of takes the longest time here. And we continue to wait.
there we go updating you can see it's kind of zipping through now system is a big one that's the actual system itself and of course do not turn this off during this process just let it finish walk away if you have to uh, if it's too nerve-wracking and you thought you lost your device just walk away let it finish come back be patient uh, because if you don't you come back you've got a bricked phone and that's not what you want there we go user data is updating okay do you want to reboot the device yes we do and you can see I got the camera and myself right here there we go and it's just going to reboot to 1.5. That's how you so that's how you unroot or you go to start the rooting process if you're already past the cupcake version or the 1.5 version. This is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.